Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today let's talk about watercolor. Now, when I first started my painting life, and that's what I started with, like a lot of artists, I started with watercolor as my main medium and painted with that exclusively really for, wow, close to 15 years probably. And that was uh, when I first started painting with watercolor, that was pretty close to 30 years ago, almost 30 years ago. And I've painted with every single brand of paint out there, um, all the professional brands of paint. You know, mostly what I do now, at least outwardly, that I show most folks on social media and classes and that kind of thing, are abstracts painted with acrylic on canvas. But I do a lot of watercolor painting uh, a lot of it's just for me, a lot of it's just funsy sort of stuff, um, but I still do paint with watercolor. I want to keep my skill level up, uh, and I may even want to teach some classes. I actually have one watercolor course coming up here at the studio next year. But let's get into watercolor paint and what it is that I use today, and I use Core Watercolor, Q-O-R, it's pronounced Core. Now, Core Watercolor is made by Golden Artist Colors, so Golden Paint, it's an offshoot of Golden Paint. Now, I have to tell you that these are the best watercolor paints I have ever used in my life. Better than any other kind of brand that I've ever used, and, and there's several reasons for that. One, and mainly, is the vibrancy of the color. Uh, there's no other watercolor paint on the market that has the vibrancy of this paint and I'm not talking about just when you put it on to the to the paper or the canvas if you're painting on canvas but it doesn't dry lighter like most watercolor paint does most watercolor paint is a kind of a rule you figure it's going to lighten 20 to 30 percent when it dries not with a core it dries exactly like you paint it so there's no guessing in terms of its lighter color later on, when you put it on there, it dries just like that. I mean, this, this painting here was painted with core watercolor. I put the paint on, on there, it dried exactly the way I put it on, and it does on every single painting I do with it, and it is amazing. Um, one of the reasons for this vibrancy of color is that core uses a specific uh, binder different from other watercolor paint manufacturers. Most manufacturers use gum arabic for the binder for the watercolor pigments. Now gum arabic, and I'm sure most of you have seen it if you've used inexpensive watercolor paint, you squeeze it out on the palette and you get a lot of liquid that comes out before the pigment, that's gum arabic. Um, and it's got a, a yellowish hue to it. So that yellowish hue is imparted into the color, into the pigment color of all those paints. And also later on, years later, 15, 20, 30, 40 years later, that gum arabic causes the watercolor paint to yellow a little bit as it ages. Now, Core uses a transparent, clear binder called Aquazol. It's a modern binder where gum arabic is centuries old. Aquazol is completely transparent, so it leaves no color, imparts no color to the pigment in the watercolor paint. Not now, not later. There's been extensive testing done on this paint, and it shows no aging color difference long term, right? If it's well protected from UV and all that sort of stuff that, that we would expect, right? So I love it. Absolutely love this paint. And where else can you find iridescent gold or iridescent silver or iridescent pearl watercolor paint? I am absolutely infatuated with the iridescent color for watercolor. Now, I use iridescent paint with my acrylic, but this is the first time I've ever found wonderful iridescent paint in watercolor. So if you're looking for a great watercolor paint, core watercolor, I would highly recommend that above any other brand. Uh, it's the best paint I've ever used, and it's the only one I'm gonna use from here on out. It's absolutely wonderful. I'll put a link 
to the core website in the description down below. Hope this was helpful for you. Hopefully, uh, maybe in the next couple of years, I'll even start doing a watercolor workshop, watercolor abstract painting workshop here or there. If you were would be interested in something like that, put that in the comments below and let me know that. So I'll know if there's interest uh, for me to do that in different workshops coming up in, in uh, coming years. And also if you have suggestions for anything I can talk about in these videos, please put that in the comments as well. I look forward to hearing from you. Hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.